Sex, porn, love addiction is all about self-soothing to manage your emotions. It got set up back in the childhood development years. It's just not about sex. It's not about porn. It's all about the repeated use has set up the physiology to crave those dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, self-manufactured drugs in the body. It's impacting women, men, children aged 10 to 75 across all the age ranges, the sexes, the cultures the professions. It increased exponentially during COVID lockdown and impacting so many lives. The Kairos Centre has created the first online comprehensive sex porn love addiction. It's a video on demand recovery program which you can access from anywhere in the world and begin to see identifiable changes just within six weeks of beginning this weekly program. Kairos means your appointed time. Isn't it your time to reclaim your life? Bring colour back to life without shame. Click the link below and begin your journey. You owe it to yourself and to others. So in this session, what we're going to look at are the things which go into the arousal template into triggering you throughout the day, throughout the week, so that the decision to act out does not just come from nowhere. Throughout the day, often there are triggers taking place and that has to do with objectification and fantasy. We need to give more attention to the fact that it is our thinking which is going to lead to behaviours. And so something about this programme being based on the model of CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy. And of course the C comes first, Cognitive, that which we are habitually, regularly thinking about in our minds throughout the day will become the behaviour that we go on to act upon. And there's something about challenging your thinking and changing your thinking so that you also affect the behaviour. Good thinking will lead to good behaviour. Negative thinking is going to lead to bad behaviour. And so what we want to do is intercept those not healthy thoughts which are titillating, triggering and change the thinking to more healthy thought processes throughout the day. What I want to give to you is a tool, it's called RAID. You probably need pen and paper just to write down the meaning of the letters, an acronym. R for recognize. Recognize that you are actually having those thoughts. The A, acknowledge the thoughts are going on. Acknowledge that you are thinking the thoughts. It's really important that you don't go into denial. The I, investigate. Am I doing something different today? What can I learn about myself in the practice that my brain has just caught me doing? Noticing the person that comes into your arousal template, whether it be male or female, it is really important that you understand something about, am I doing it more frequently today? Is there something different? Is it that I've not had sex for a very long time? Is it that I've had an argument, an upset with somebody? What can I learn about myself in that I'm doing the objectification today and I've caught myself doing it? Really important. The next one is the D for divert your thinking immediately. Now that you have recognized that you're having those thoughts, probably more accurately, recognize what is actually happening, recognize it. 
the A, acknowledge that you're actually having those thoughts. The I, investigate, learn from why I am doing it today. And then D, divert your thinking. You will need to find some diversion strategies to shift your thinking immediately. Later in the session, we're going to give you a particular tool to help you to shift your thinking, to, to move into more positive thinking. But for now, you will need to use any of the skills, the tools which you have got to change your pattern of thinking away from the image that has triggered you perhaps earlier in the day. The next thing that we add to this RAID acronym is the three seconds rule. Three seconds rule, I often call it a misnomer. It's not what's on the can. It's not really an accurate description. In fact, three seconds is an eternity. If you found yourself objectifying, going back for a second look, noticing the person wanting to go back, and you do go back and you do linger, then you've breached the three second rule. The three second rule is all about a split second that you notice the person, the image, you shift your thinking away. And that moves me into the next tool, which is you bounce your eyes. I notice a person and I know I want to linger. I know I want to see them. I know I want to capture more of their body part. As soon as I notice them, I bounce my eyes immediately. Bouncing. It's also really important that you keep a, 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 an entry in your journal, in your calendar, in your diary, just to identify the number of times through the day that you caught yourself actually objectifying. I often say to clients, in our diary at the midnight hour, mm -hmm. that would be a good place to put an entry. Put an entry against the 12 o'clock midnight, it just puts a number in there. Probably not wise to give a description how many times I objectified today in case your diary comes into the hands of somebody else. Just put a number every day, every evening, the end of the day. Don't forget the television, that's going to be a source of, of potential objectification as well. So pretty much later in the evening, perhaps just before bed or the next morning, do a scan of your day, identify how many times you recognize you did I objectify that day and put the number in the midnight hour. Keep up the entry for quite a number of weeks, not just two, three, four. The reason for doing that is at some point in the future, when your brain identifies the fact that it has just caught you objectifying, it's going to suggest to you it's not working, this program isn't working, your actions aren't working, you may as well give it up. And you've got to have some evidence to challenge it back to say, well, actually brain, I may have started at six per day, but hey look, the entries that I've made shows that I'm down to two, and that's progress. Remember, this program is not about quick fixes. There just is no quick fix um, for your sobriety. It is small incremental steps over a period of time. And so you've got to be able to challenge your brain back when it comes at you and suggests to you that you are not succeeding in the work of sobriety.